Hey everyone, today I'm going to be seeing what happens when I pour liquid nitrogen on my giant monster neodymium magnet. And a portion of this video was sponsored by LastPass. So when you cool a magnet down, it actually creates a stronger magnet because the atoms don't have as much energy and so they can actually orient their magnetic fields better when they're colder than when they're warmer. When they're warmer they vibrate around a lot more and so it's harder to align all the magnetic fields of the atoms in the neodymium magnet. But when you cool it down then they don't have as much energy so they actually align better. So today I'm going to be seeing how strong I can actually get my giant neodymium magnet when I cool it down. Now before we try the liquid nitrogen on my giant neodymium magnet, let's first see what it does to just regular non-magnetic metals. So for example, I have two cylinders of aluminum here. Now aluminum is non-ferromagnetic. So when you bring a magnet near it, it doesn't stick to it. So I have a small neodymium magnet here and you can see it doesn't stick to it at all. But there is an interesting phenomenon that happens when you bring a magnet near something like aluminum or copper. Now even though these metals aren't magnetic, what happens is when you bring the magnet near it, it pushes the electrons that are in the metal around in a circle and it causes an eddy current. And that eddy current creates a magnetic field that opposes the magnetic field of the magnet. And so what happens is it slows the magnet moving around it, it slows it down. So for example, it's not attracted to it, but watch what happens when I drop it down the center here. Okay, here we go. See how long it took to get through it? So see how it got slowed down? This is how fast it would drop outside of it, just instantly. But then inside of it, slows down. So what you can do with this is actually a fun little toy. So I put the magnet through it and you can catch it in the bottom one like this. <laughs> so look how long it takes to fall through these. <laughs> But now let's cool these two cylinders of aluminum down to liquid nitrogen temperatures and see what happens. Because the resistance of this aluminum should be reduced by around a factor of two when I cool it down to liquid nitrogen temperatures. So that means we'll be able to get much stronger eddy currents in it and so the magnet should fall through it much slower. So let's see if we can actually slow this down even more going through these cylinders. Okay, let's cool these down. We're gonna take a lot of liquid nitrogen to do this. And I'd like to thank LastPass for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you don't know what LastPass is, LastPass is my favorite password manager. I use it every day. I use it on my phone, I use it on my computer. It manages all the passwords that I have to remember to all my different accounts. With LastPass, you don't have to write, remember, or reset your passwords. So LastPass autofills your credentials on mobile sites and apps for iOS and Android. You also get unlimited password storage and free cross-device sync. And another good thing that I like about LastPass is you don't have to rely on these easy to remember passwords for all of your accounts. You can actually use pretty complex passwords that you don't even have to remember. You just let LastPass store it and it will autofill it. And so you can get very complex passwords that are pretty impossible to break. Another nice thing about LastPass is you can easily share your passwords and usernames with other people that you trust. So if you want to learn more about LastPass and get all of your passwords in order like I have, click the link in my description to go check them out today. And thanks to LastPass for sponsoring this portion of the video. That is some cold metal. <laughs> okay, now let's see what happens when I drop the magnet down it. I think it's condensing liquid oxygen on it. Okay, here we go. I think the red one's colder. Whoa! 
That is crazy. Look at this. <laughs> okay, look at it fall through here. Look how slow it goes. Look at these when I drop it on the magnet. <laughs> it won't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this game now. <laughs> I'll try to do it without gloves so you can see it better. Cold, cold. Ouch. <laughs> Burn my finger. I touched the metal part instead of the insulated part here. Okay, now let's see if we can cool our magnet down to liquid nitrogen temperatures. This is a big piece of metal, so it's gonna take a lot of liquid nitrogen to do this. Okay, so first let's just test how strong it is at regular temperatures. So <laughs> this is just a butter knife I have in my house. You can see uh, how much it's pressing down on my hand here. And the closer it gets to it, uh, the harder it is to pull away. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so it takes a pretty good amount of force to pull this off of the giant magnet at regular temperature. So let's cool it down now and see what it's like. Okay, I'm just gonna insulate the top of it so it can cool down a little bit better. Okay, so my magnet should actually be stronger than it was before. Whoa! Holy cow! That is crazy! Uh. Oh. It takes two hands just to lift this off of here. Uh. Uh. Holy cow. Okay, if I can stand to put my hand next to it. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> so you can see it's actually much more effective to cool the aluminum down than cool the magnet down to slow it down. When I drop it on it, you can actually hear it hit it, whereas before it was kind of just floating and then hitting. Let's see what happens when we pour water on it. Pretty cool. Ow. Ah. <laughs> However, if you get colder than negative 138 degrees Celsius, spin reorientation happens and it actually makes the magnet weaker than it was before. And so you actually only get a magnet that's around 85 to 90% strong as it was when it was a little bit warmer, around negative 138 degrees.
Okay, so the reason that I didn't see such a big field reduction may have been because this is just so big and I didn't use enough liquid nitrogen to get it fully down to liquid nitrogen temperatures. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video is out. And check out theactionlab.com for the Action Lab subscription box. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.